Hello guys, today I want to show you one part of filament which is blade components that are used in filament but you can use them outside of filament as well. So if somewhere you saw x dash filament colon colon something, this is a blade component from filament. And in the documentation in the blade components you can find the list which is pretty big like 20 components or so which you may use as I said in filament but also it is beneficial to know them and how to customize them with additional attributes. And also what is missing in the docs here in filament and actually it's not the problem of the docs every documentation is more or less static and text based but I would think more visuals would be required here. So avatar you have an example code of how that avatar looks in the code but how does it look visually actually this is exactly the missing part that I want to show in this video so I've tried a few components how they actually look on the page for that I've created a custom page by the way if you want to just generate the page with filament design and then fill it with whatever you want php artisan make filament page and name of your page in this case it was components demo so I have a new menu item with a custom page which is actually live wire component under the hood and it generated the blade with x filament panel page which means the full design of the page and then in here you can do whatever you want so I've added a few components to just showcase to you. Every component is wrapped in a section, which is actually a component itself. So if we go back to the list of components, I want to start with section. So you may create X filament section with slot, which is heading, and then whatever is inside. This is exactly what I did in this example, section with name, and then inside another blade component of filament. So this is how avatar component looks by default, loading any image from local or URL, like in this case it's from Twitter, then the badge is just the line with the text that looks like this, then breadcrumbs if you want to add those on top for example of the page, it's just the breadcrumbs with array of links and their labels and then for example a button looks like this just a button with x filament button pretty familiar to you i assume and then there's also loading indicator which is just basically this dynamic circle so these are just a few examples that i wanted to show you because i didn't see the visuals in the doc so i decided to experiment myself and show it to you visually and there's also one more thing about customization so for example if you want to use x avatar x filament avatar what if you want to add more CSS classes, for example, or size or something like that? Every component, of course, has its attributes. This is all powered by Blade components. So in Laravel Blade documentation, you should read about attributes, how they work, how to pass attributes and stuff like that. And all the components, those Blade components, are actually in the package inside of GitHub filament there's packages and then there's support package and then if we go down the road of all the subfolders we have this resources views components and here we have that avatar and all the other blade components and if we take a look at the source here we go side note for every developer it's very advisable to not just go through the docs and tutorials but also look at the actual source of the open source project whether it's laravel or some package or filament you may find a lot of answers which are not in the docs just by looking at the source. So for example, how does avatar work under the hood? In fact, it's not even an image. It's a div with classes with background image as a source. And if you want to override that or add your own classes, for example, there's class and you may add more classes to it. Like, for example, if we add class rounded full, so avatar would be rounded, we refresh the page and we have rounded full here. Again, for the syntax how it works, read Laravel documentation of blade components. And yeah, go through those all components. There are button, drop down, field set, input, and others. I will link that documentation page in the description below. As usual, at the end, I advise you to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one, still going daily, and see you guys in those other videos.